Hi there. Oh, this is something a little different, just a drawing. But I, I have uploaded the other uh, videos about the wind machine. And so now this is a drawing that sort of dot ties the videos together. Here is that big wheel. This is a wind turbine. There's no turbine, I mean a wind, wind windmill. And this is probably about 50 feet tall, so half of it's 25. And this part, this, what's called, it's a big diffuser is what it is, or it's a concentrator that ha actually has the Venturi effect. And if you saw the video about the Venturi effect, you'll see that you doubled the wind speed. So here's this thing that's 25 feet across. Uh, in diameter, so 12 and a half feet, it gets down to about 16 or 8 feet, so there's actually a little wind turbine here. And of course, the problem is, is that if you just have this thing, the wind, when it comes along here, it stalls out, and rather than have the Venturi effect, what it does is it sends the wind around. So all the wind that I actually measured with my little meter, you know, on, a, on, a, on the small model, that it gets faster here than it is here. Okay, even faster. So this is actually an airplane wing if you want to look at it from that standpoint. So anyway, if you don't have this high, tall windmill, okay, then the wind will just come along and go around it. But because we have this windmill, it only has the the the, uh, the only has filled in the windmill this 12 foot section. And here we'll go change and look at. Okay, so here is a straight on view. This is excuse me. Okay, this is. Looking on, here's our little 12 foot, uh, uh, 25 foot, uh, oh, yes, yeah, 12 foot, sorry, for this exercise, it's 12 feet. Okay, this is 25, this is 12, this is 50. And here are the blades of the windmill. As the wind put, turns this, it actually acts like a fan in the other video. So this is how you get the wind to go inside and make the energy twice. Okay, so that means that this turbine, if you get a, so like a, the start speed is like six miles per hour with this unit here, it's going to be 14 miles. So, double, so there are some considerations you have to take into effect. But this means that you can go to a low wind area, set up this machine, and actually make wind power that's cost effective. What does cost effective mean? Okay, when you double, when you double the wind speed, so right here, that the power that you can produce goes up as the cube. So if you double the wind speed, you increase the power by a factor of eight. What does that mean? Well, that means that if you get, um, suppose this whole thing uh, has a uh, payback with regular wind. Okay, so whatever it costs to build, if you build a comparable wind machine for that cost, the payback time is like six to seven months, seven years, okay? Okay, so seven times 12 is 84. If you have this configuration and you have the same size thing here, the energy that this, this engine will produce, the same size as the other one, will be eight times as much. So 84 divided by uh, eight times as much power means that this thing here 
will be paid back in eight months. And this thing here is just a mechanical device. It, you know, you have to make it strong and all the other stuff, but it's nowhere near the cost of this. So maybe in 12 months or one year, this will be paid back. So if you invest $20,000, okay, at the end of the year, you'll see $43,000. You double the money, okay? So that's an exciting concept that you can pay back. So this is the cheapest type of electricity you're ever going to see in today's market. Thank you.